Hi there. Welcome to today's video classroom cleanup situationship. Um, my name is Raven. I am a second year third grade teacher. Last year I taught fifth grade for my first year of teaching and this year I'm at the same school but I'm going to be teaching third grade. So very very excited. I came to my classroom two days ago. I had to leave. My anxiety told me to leave and come back another day because it was just too much. Um, it was a lot. It was it was overwhelming. Um, the teacher who I'm replacing retired and I was able to talk to them before they left. Um, but I wasn't able to see the classroom, if that makes sense. I wasn't able to figure out what I wanted to keep, what I didn't want to keep. So they just, they left everything. Um, so, I have to clean out everything because I don't have any room to put my stuff and then there's just a lot going on in this room in general my Promethean board the mouse and the keyboard don't work the desktop that the teacher was using was unplugged everything was disconnected so I had to move the desktop that was over there and I had to put it on top of the Chromebooks um, because if I don't need it then I don't want it taking up any space um, I want to show you the room but it has like personal information all over it all over it so last year I was on the lower part of the campus hidden away in the valley um, <laughs> nobody like bothered us like only the fifth graders were over there um, the rest of the school was on the main part of the campus so this year I'm on the main part of the campus it's the wild wild west over here I saw bunnies everywhere I saw lizards lizarding it was scary I was scared for my life on the hike over to my classroom um, <laughs> but the bunnies are cute they're not scary so I just have a lot to do. I wanna show you the classroom. So you're gonna walk up, up. I'm gonna greet you at the door when you come in. And then this is the classroom. That's what you see when you first walk in. I'm trying not to show too much personal information um, cause it's just everywhere. And then we have this beautiful Elmo themed bulletin board from the previous teacher that I'm gonna get rid of. We have old school curtains. Uh, we have a couple of book shelves that have books on it. I'm so grateful that they left me the books. I have math manipulatives. What? Math manipulatives? Uh, <laughs> okay, so if you saw my previous videos last year, this was in my classroom, always in the background when I was doing a video I asked that this be moved to this classroom so I'm grateful and I also asked that this be moved to this classroom and then here is my teacher desk uh, these are my chairs I am definitely going to ask for some one colored chairs um, I would love for them to be all one color and then my team lead I saw her two days ago. She put all of the supplies in here for me. Such a nice person. And then we have my whiteboard. So I have two whiteboards like I did in my previous class, if you look at the previous videos. And then they have the alphabet posters up here. Definitely gonna try to keep these. I don't know if I wanna make my own yet. And then I have another desk. Remember in my last classroom, I had one of these as well. And then all of my little people's chairs. And then this was in my old classroom as well. It has my name on it. My mentor gave this to me, so I was definitely taking this. Um, this was in my old classroom as well, but it is so tilted and it's a hazard. I want it out of here. I didn't know that they would be bringing it here. So definitely want that out of here. Um, this was in here. My hands are very dry, so sorry. I have this cabinet. Uh, I have a printer. I have 
Lots of Fallon cabinets. Lots and lots of Fallon cabinets. These are boxes that I packed up from my old room to be brought here. Um, the, that's another Fallon cabinet, but it doesn't, the, the doors don't close, so I kind of don't even want it in here. And then um, the teacher left me graphing stuff, and then I made a mess. I didn't know that there was a puzzle in there when I was cleaning that out, and it just got everywhere, and I freaked out. The puzzle freaked out. We freaked out. Brown wall is stressing me out. I, I don't know if it's the color. I, that color is, is kind of, hmm, I'll figure it out. But then we have our flag, Pledge of Allegiance, and lots of things over there that I can't get to until I figure out this situation. I have a book stand. I love this. They left me their books. I have all of this. I'm not going to need this at all, so I'm going to get rid of it. This is old curriculum that I don't need. And then this Fallon cabinet, the teacher locked it before they left and they had a key. I didn't even know that there were keys that went to these cabinets um, because I didn't have any keys that went inside of mine. So I had to unlock it, the, not the illegal way, but the Raven way. Um, but now it won't close. I think it was already like that. That's why it was locked. The teacher can't find the key, so I'm stuck. But I have awesome construction paper. They told me that they were leaving me this, and I was grateful. Like, super grateful. Because I don't have to buy construction paper. Um, But I do have things that I need to definitely get rid of. And all of this, I it's trash, so definitely got to get rid of that that's all old math curriculum I have to get rid of that and then this is the cabinets are all filled with stuff definitely don't need the trash that's in here can't take this is from my previous class I can't really do anything with anything until I make room for my stuff so that's what I'm really gonna be working on I was working on this bookcase right here, getting rid of things that I don't need at all. Um, and that, that filled up a lot of the trash bags. Like, all of these dictionaries, not sure if I'm going to need them. Uh, that looks like social studies. I'm going to look in it. I don't think I'm going to need that. That's reading. I don't think I'm going to need that as well. See, we have more math curriculum that we're not going to be using. And then down here was a mess. I cleaned all of that up. There's just a lot to do. My plan of attack today is just to clean up. <laughs> just to clean, clean up and clear out. So that's what I'm gonna be working on. I wanna finish this today because I literally only have two hours. And then I'm gonna come back next week with my mom who helped me set up my class last year. She took, she takes a whole week off to help me set up, but we have a lot to do. I really want to do something to this wall. I want to put contact paper on it so bad and make it like a very calm theme. My classroom theme in general is really, really nice this year. I can't wait to show you guys that. And I start the induction program this summer. I have been focused on my master's classes. I did not realize how much work goes into the master's program. I have finals coming up, literal finals coming up next week and the first week of school. So that's going to be exciting. And then I get to find out who my mentor is. That's going to be exciting as well for the induction program. So let me get to work and stop talking because I'm sure you've heard enough of my voice.
think I made some really good leeway uh, with clearing stuff out. Um, the dictionaries I'll probably just use as a reference. I'm out of breath because I'm kind of chunky and it takes the life out of me <laughs> to clean like this. Um, and I'm also <sighs> choking on the dust. It's really bad. It's kicking up my asthma. But um, I'm going to leave the dictionaries uh, just because I want the students to know what an actual dictionary is. <laughs> um, I know that, you know, new technology, nobody uses a dictionary anymore. Um, I haven't seen too many classrooms with dictionaries in them so I'm gonna keep that and then social studies I'm gonna leave that here and ask the librarian about this because last year was COVID and nobody was in person and these look new I'm not gonna touch those I'm just gonna leave them but I did clear that out let's turn around and go this way so all of these binders are pretty much brand new never been used but you see the dust I'm, I'm definitely gonna clean this out when I come back uh, these definitely keeping um, as a pencil pouch for them this is all brand new supplies oh these are pencil pouches too and then these are scissors these are green notebooks I guess third grade is using. Those are more green notebooks. These are all pretty much brand new as well, I think. I'm gonna have to double check and make sure. These are all brand new, definitely all brand new. Brand new, brand new. So I'm gonna leave this alone for now. Uh, I had kinda started working on this when I came. Ooh, another one, I almost have a whole class set. Almost. Let me go add this to my collection. Let me add this to my collection. I don't want to lose these. I have a tendency to lose everything. I'm just going to keep that there for now. Um, not even going to look at these until next week. Not going to look at that until next week. Are these dictionaries as well? Yes. You, oh, these are the sources. Oh, gosh. We're just going to leave that bad boy right there. Oh, more binders. Cool. Oh, and more books. Okay. Oh, I cleaned this out only because I saw math manipulatives, which means I don't need to buy math manipulatives. They are so expensive on Amazon. But I'm assuming that they were making bags for students, which is what I definitely want to do for my kiddos. So, play money. I would love to use this. What are these? Are these notebooks? Okay. For note taking and only and writing only okay just gonna kind of clear this so i know what's what oh i love that these are already pre-bagged okay so i definitely want to find a spot for all the math manipulative oh my gosh they have coins yes yes to the coins more math manipulatives Ooh, pencils i want to keep keep these where the pencils go um so I'm assuming that this was for somebody. It's all books that are not for third grade. I'm just gonna put this outside. It's kinda heavy. And then she left me printer paper. I love, love, love her for that. I'm gonna keep that right there. So this is the cabinet that I was working on when I was here. Um, it was filled with every single shelf had something on it. Um, I just like figured out what I wanted to keep. Definitely want to keep colored pencils. And I told her that I wanted to keep her crayons that she wasn't going to use. So she left me that. Love her for that as well. And then she left me glue. I'm mad that I brought this. Um, didn't need to buy it. Oh, I forgot that that was in there. Oh, we're definitely going to use that. Ooh, I have staplers. Oh man, I love staple removers. She has a lot of those. Oh, wait a minute. <gasps> she has Expo markers. What? I'm gonna have to use that because I only found one. So this will definitely be helpful for today to write a to-do list on a whiteboard. I have lunch bags. These are the books that I had found <laughs> that I said, I need to find the rest of these, so gonna look for this and then this is also another really cute book the littles go exploring i feel like there's so much i can do with this and these are so cute as well i can use that for something arts and crafts i'm gonna just move that over 
my organization is not the best right now because I'm not organizing. My goal is to remove and clean. Um, oh man, I remember finding these in her room. And I said, oh my goodness, how long have you been teaching? And she responded back to me. <laughs> said a very long 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 time these are transparency film uh copy things what are they called remove the film it's for projectors i'm not sure if anybody knows but projectors are what was used in school before promethean boards and technology evolved that's what that was pretty much used for I'm going to get rid of that um, because we don't have projectors anymore. The good old days. I remember when they were using projectors when I was a little baby in school. Okay, I'm going to throw this away. And then I think down there there's more math manipulatives and more books. I'm just going to go through that. Static when I try to speak. Not an addict, I just need some sleep. No, you're mad at me, say it's not that deep. But if I feel it, is it less real just because you can't see? lot done at, in 45 minutes it's only 12 45 um excuse the sweat and the oiliness um don't think that i'm just trashing everything i'm keeping certain things that i know i'm gonna need i did not know that that book was covering that i'm going to use some um scrapbook paper some scrapbook paper that matches my classroom theme and i'm just gonna put some tape on that and tape it there that's a really useful little cubby though for um for games that she was using it for and also for rainy day activities because you know the kiddos get antsy so that's what i'm gonna do right now i'm going to work on this first filing cabinet okay and then this cabinet won't close i'm scared to see what the oh more math manipulatives oh we got some good stuff going on in here. Made some progress. I'm just gonna sit here really quick. I put all my trash outside. It was a lot of trash. It was heavy. Um, 
I'm so burnt out. It's only 1.45. I think I gotta call it at this point. I have to call it to the teacher supply store and pick up my order from the Lakeshore store. I have to pick up my order because if I go in there, I'm gonna spend unnecessary amounts of money on things that I don't need. So it's best for me to just order it all online and pick it up in the store. I finished all of that. That's good. The cabinets won't close. I'm not even gonna worry about this cabinet today. I'll worry about it on Monday. I cleared most of the stuff that was on this table. I moved the desk around to get to this table back here because it had stuff on it that I'm not gonna say didn't make sense, but it just had, it was kind of busy right here. And then I just have all of this I need to work on on Monday and figuring out what this stuff is back here, when I can get to it, um, when I can just get to it. <laughs> And then I think I want to take that Pledge of Allegiance sign down. Um, I believe the kids know the Pledge of Allegiance. And I'm not sure if we're really going to be doing that. Um, I don't think they did it during the announcements this year. So I don't know how that works. But oh, this is a lot. And I want to talk to my team lead about some of these books. They look kind of important. I'm definitely keeping this. This is science-y. Talking about life cycles of butterflies. Insect life cycles birds and chicks, lions and their cubbies, zebras and their fowls. Does that say fools? Oh, fowls. I need to go back to first grade. Monkeys and their infants. This is really cute. It's a whole awesome, yeah, I'm keeping this. I'm definitely keeping I'm keeping this. It won't close. It's okay. I need to finish getting rid of this, but I'm not going to worry about it today. I want to go through these books figure out what I want to keep and what I don't want to keep um beggars can't be choosers I'm just happy I have books and then this was over here by the table I don't know where this belongs scared to throw it away in case it's a sciencey thing but then I'm thinking what what would you use this for in science so I kind of want to put it out there with the trash I, I don't know, I'm kind of iffy about that. So, I'm going to get rid of that. Let me show you my trash really quick. This is what I cleared out. <sighs> it's a long row of trash. It's what I cleared out. Cleared all of that out. And then I dragged these to the front like a crazy person. So, I think um, I'm going to get out of here. <laughs> and go pick up my order go back home start on my homework for my class that's due i think tomorrow oh my gosh it's probably due tomorrow i need to work on that um just gonna just gonna get myself ready for monday because i know that when my mom comes she doesn't play any games so we're gonna be working i mean sweat dripping off forehead like it is right now type of working so I gotta get ready for that. Um, I'm pretty excited. I have really good vibes about this classroom. I just wanna make it feel more homey and more my style and get it ready for my students. Um, it's really all about them, but I just wanna make it a comfortable environment because they spend half of their day here and I spend 75% of my day here. So I'm gonna go. I will see you in the next video. I'm still gonna be sweaty. I'm sorry. I'm just gonna have to deal with that for right now. I'm just gonna be sweating a little bit. But I'll see you in the next video. Please, if you like the video, like, comment, subscribe, do whatever you wanna do. I will see you. Bye. I just left the Lake Shore store. Remember earlier in my video, I said something? I said, I had to pick up my order. Pick up my order. Because if I go in the store and start looking around, and then this is also a part of my order, I would buy something. So I saw posters. I saw posters. And that's where it went downhill. But before I saw the poster, I saw the cute little scented stickers. They're so cute. And I bet they smell amazing. I got chocolate, pineapple. And cherries I brought stickers to put on my students work regardless if they do a good job or a bad job just to give them like 
a little razzle dazzle on their work um and third graders appreciate stuff like that unlike fifth graders who would think that is totally uncool for you to do putting a sticker on their work so i just thought i'd have fun with it this year and go all out with stickers and whatnot but um i just left the lakeshore store i thought i was gonna end this video in the classroom somebody needs to tell me to stop it because i didn't need those stickers right this moment they were not even turning work in the first week of school i could have waited but i did get some really cute posters and i was able to laminate them in the store so that was really nice and then i picked up my order <sighs> i need to go home i need to go home anyways i'm officially ending this video in the parking lot of the teacher store where I have a teaching a teacher supplies shopping addiction so I'm just gonna I'm just gonna admit that right now um I'm gonna go now but thank you so much for sticking with me and watching this video today I appreciate it. um <laughs> stay tuned for my next video where I finish the cleanup finish it it's gonna be it's it's gonna be done and I'm gonna move furniture out of the room I I sense that when you move it out of your room, instead of waiting for somebody to come pick it up, they pick it up because it's outside of your room and they don't want the, the classroom to look like that, you know. So, <laughs> I put furniture out two days ago and it was picked up. So, I'm, I'm appreciative. And I talked to the custodian and um, told them about the furniture that I want gone. So, I'm just waiting for that. And I pushed those cabinets to the front of the classroom which I shouldn't have done because my back is killing me, but yeah. So that's all I have for today. Stay tuned for the next video. Thank you for watching. Bye!